Before starting out I would ask you to subscribe to the channel and like video. The Earth is round and orbiting around the Sun at a speed of 107,000 km per hour in the solar system, a small part of our galaxy, which is again a small part of the entire universe. This is of course a version that we all learned at a school, which most people believe, I do not even think that there is any other possible version and why. But lately, or all the theory that the Earth is actually a flat panel. If Earth does not revolve around the Sun, there is no one tiny point in the universe, but it is the center of everything. The Sun, the stars, and everything we see in the sky when we look up, are placed here only for us, if so, then do we all live in an experiment? Is our whole existence a lie? Do you have a managerial in your life? Maybe the Creator? Of course, many people will first think, what kind of stupidity, how can anyone ever believe that the Earth is a flat panel? The Earth is of course a round, spherical shape. The truth is, we never really questioned that. From the beginning of our lives, this is simply the case. Since when we know about ourselves, some things are generally accepted, this is not discussed, these are simply facts. As there is gravity, as we need oxygen to be able to breathe, so is the Earth round? Is not it? So let's see why some people believe it's not true. The first thing that people say when talking about a flat country is a flat horizon. They wonder if the Earth is round, so that the curvature of the Earth cannot be seen. According to them, the horizon is always seen as flat 360 degrees around the observer, regardless of the height from which they mimic. All amateur balloons, the planes made photographs that prove this. For NASA images that show curvature, theorists say they are mounted. We always see the horizon in the height of our eyes. If the Earth was spherical at high altitudes, we would have to lower our views to see and follow the horizon and it would have been valid no matter how big the Earth is. Okay, you would say now, what about Earth images from the universe? There are, of course, too many images of the Earth where it is seen as a ball. The conspiracy theorists claim that they are all mounted pictures. The image of the Earth we all know and which is found in all textbooks is the one from the 1960s and 1970s, which was made when allegedly flying landings on the Moon. One of the strongest evidence of theorists of conspiracy that the Earth is not round is the huge perfectly flat, watery surfaces on the oceans, canals, rivers and lakes. In the oceans, visibility is possible for tens of kilometers, with the objects observed should be several kilometers below the horizon. If Earth is the ball, says mathematics, one of the most famous experiments carried out, and this proved an experiment on the Bedford Canal, the canal extends over 20 miles, of which 6 are in the straight line, and as such, it was ideal for an experiment involving a paddle that moves towards the end point exactly 10 kilometers from the starting point of observation. The first simple experiment was conducted by the English inventor Samuel Robotham. He mounted the flag on the boat so that it was exactly 1 meter above the water level. Samuel Robotham entered and held the telescope 20 centimeters above the surface of the water, watching the boat drift away. Assuming the Earth is spherical, the volume of 25,000 miles, he calculated that the flag should begin to sink below the field of vision one mile after one mile. He could still see the boat after six miles, more than 10 kilometers. But others asked the question if the Earth is a flat plate, then a good telescope would have to be seen from Portugal's cities in the USA. But they cannot be seen, unless you hide any hills, but there is just a sea between them. Geometers, engineers and architects have never taken the sphere's curvature when designing their projects. Canals, railways, bridges and tunnels are, for example, always citizens horizontally, often hundreds of miles, completely straight, completely without curvature, which should be considered to exist. And what about the road around the world? This is naturally proof that the Earth is round, because if it is not, how can the traveler return to the place from which he started? Those who advocate the theory that the Earth is a flat panel, explain that this is possible even if the Earth is flat. How? On the internet, it can be seen how the country looks if it is handled, 
and it can see the layout of continents that is not the same as on the globe. It can also be seen that the Antarctic surrounds us, what is interestingly considered by theorists is that this model of a flat country is on the symbol of United Nations and other organizations. However, the map of the country and the arrangement of the continents will look different depending on which positions on the Earth's globe are viewed. Here's how the world map looks from Europe and from the South Pole. Why is it prohibited to join Antarctica? Or why are flights banned from him? In 1956, Richard Byrd last led a free expedition and did not manage to cross the Antarctic. Because as he says, they are stopped by a large wall, later named after him. How can sailors see the light beams longer than 50 kilometers if there is a curve of the Earth? In the end, conspiracy theorists now touch the rotation of the Earth. They say that there are many illogicalities that should not exist if the Earth rotates. First they wonder how we do not feel any movement. How do we miss the rotation of the Earth? The answer may be due to the force of gravity that holds on the Earth. If the Earth was a rotating ball, the pilot's aircraft would have to constantly lower the front of the aircraft at a speed of 500 miles per hour and change the course about half a mile down every minute, otherwise it would go to space, exactly after an hour of flight without this correction 31.5 miles more than expected height. They are also being asked. If the Earth rotates, then the helicopter should not fly in place and let Earth rotate it to its intended destination. In any case, it is difficult to confirm and disprove all these theories, therefore they are called theories. But the question arises. If the Earth really is a flat panel why and who hides it from us? What kind of reasons would they have to hide it? What can be gained? Why would they lie to us and make up the Earth round? With what goal? Some people say that if all this is what we see around ourselves posed just for us, if the Earth was first made, is it then that our Creator hides? Do we hide from God? Don't forget leave like and subscribe.